I think there's a stoic line that says, love your fate. Uh, how does that relate to that moment in between, you know, moving left or right, that freedom, that present moment? Uh, how do you learn to love your fate? And what would you tell someone? I want to love my fate. Many people I feel like maybe wish they could. Uh, but you can't force something on anyone, really, at least in my experience. They have to kind of accept it and welcome it and bring it in. What is the process of instructing someone in those directions? Well, that's why I carry this coin here. This says Amor Fati. It is uh, based on that Stoic philosophy. Uh, it's Latin for, for love your fate, you know. So <clears throat> when I was first lifted out of my depression, uh, I came across this article about Stoic philosophy, and it led me to uh, these two coins. The other one I'll show you in a bit. Um, but this really struck me as a powerful idea. On the back it says, not merely to bear what is necessary, but love it. And so for me, I was so happy to, I was so enthralled to just be out of depression that, uh, and I can believe the shift that happened, that mental shift. And I thought if, if I could shift my mind so much, so dramatically, a 180 from being that, in that dark, dark place to being complete opposite the next day, then I can do that whenever I want. You know, of course, that was through the help of the psilocybin, um, but I immediately got into breath work, I got into philosophy, uh, yoga, meditation, a lot of physical work. I grew up as an athlete, and so I know the power, I knew the power of exercise, I knew the power of the, in the body, and I knew that using the body to s get me out of the mind could help me flip the script, and we can do that whenever we want. So the you know the prison lies in the story, the 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 subconscious feeds that we don't have the choice that we have to cling to these ideas. And so I, I got this coin so that I had a physical, tangible reminder of the freedom that we, the reality of the freedom that we have to choose our perspective at any moment. And I'm talking. This is my methodology. For me, this works because it is a physical thing that reminds me of that idea. You know, it's the same idea of uh, people who have uh, a problem drinking, and so they get their alcoholic anonymous coins or something to remind them of that. So, um, to sum it up, it's it's training, it's mental training, really, um, studying, believing, uh, really believing that these you know two thousand year old ideas have been time tested that other people have gone through them that's why having mentors like seneca like marcus realist or is so important to me because it's uh you know you read their history and they went through it so you trust that and it takes it takes faith it takes strength it takes training it takes resilience and it takes tools it takes tools like this or mentors or whatever you have to do you know Another line that I really love is, uh, train, let's train our mind to desire what the situation demands. And that's what it comes down to. You do what it takes. So